Hey, if you live in the state of New York like me, get ready because gas prices are going back up once again. It's not enough for rent to be at an all time high. It's not enough for regular average prices to cost almost half a million dollars. It's not enough for food to be an all time high. It's not enough for the cost of living in general in this ridiculous ass democratic state to cost a fortune, almost half your salary. Gas prices are soaring. This is an article from the news break. Link in the description will be down below. Why gas prices are soaring across New York State once again. Gas prices are surging to an eight-month high in New York State and will likely continue. Here's why. I love how they try to give an explanation into why this is going on. AAA says that the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded gas is now $3.78. That's 15 cents more than one week ago and over 20 cents up from last month new yorkers are just drowning in debt um the average price of a gallon of unleaded regular in new york state is a few cents more than the national average as of tuesday morning the average for a gallon of regular unleaded gas is three dollars and 83.9 cents that's about 12 cents more than a week ago according to triple a Wow, experts are blaming, how is he? Experts are blaming a sudden spike in gas prices on production costs, higher oil prices, and the recent record-breaking fucking heat. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna read this anymore. This is fucking bullshit. Experts, who call these people experts? Experts. Now all of a sudden you're an expert on gas prices? The real reason why gas is soaring is because everything else is fucking going up in prices. Inflation is at a ridiculous all-time high. And you have Joe Biden constantly tweeting on Twitter talking about Biden economics. Look, you know, we've had a record numbers of jobs in, in the past, you know, term during my administration. Inflation is down. Buddy, all of it is a fucking lie. People are still complaining that they're going to grocery stores with $200 and only coming out with about 10 items. That is ridiculous. People are still play, paying, according to this article, a high amount in gas prices. People's rent are still at an all-time high. People's groceries uh, are still at an all-time high. Everything is at an all-time high. Just to be able to breathe in the state of New York is at an all-time high. And this article, just about a couple weeks after the MTA decided to raise fair prices again because of the pandemic they lost a lot of money during the shutdown of the pandemic so they got to raise prices on people to recoup what they lost it's complete bullshit governors in new york are wondering why are so many people leaving the state you know if you can make it here in new york you can make it anywhere because it's becoming unfucking livable that's the cold hard fact of life Nobody wants to work in a state where things are constantly going up and their salaries are still staying the same. Nobody wants to work in a state where they have to pay $2,000 for a one fucking bedroom studio apartment. That is ridiculous. That is more than some people's mortgages who live in a four to five bedroom house down south. It does not make sense. It not. It is not making sense. And it's a reason why people are saying, get me the fuck out of here. New York State is no longer becoming a tourist attraction. It is becoming a plague. People are getting out and dipping as soon as they can. And you got government officials like Kathy Hochul. You got Biden making everything worse for the American people. I believe that their goal, their agenda, and they're accomplishing this very, very well is to fuck the middle class over as hard as they can. And now they're begging and pleading, especially with the presidential elections coming up just next year hey give me your vote look what i did for you these past four years i i, I mandated you to get the shots that you didn't need I, I raised all these prices up for you where you could barely afford you know i might have you know destroyed your savings and all your investments but hey you're still alive barely this is the fucking time that we living in oh and not to forget too um I, you know i'm behind um uh, them teaching your children gender queer theories in um you know elementary and you know i'm kind of behind back in the movement of you know trans men or women and, and trans women or men and you know trans men can compete in women's sports and you know you can identify whatever you want to all that all this nonsense ever bro ever since biden has come into office ever since we had uh, a democratic you know leadership in office things have just been going down south I have never seen a more society that has been delusional and fucking crazy and fucking expensive in my entire life. This 
is the bottom hell. This is purgatory. And the people's like, I, they can't do it no more. So there's no need to explain this article. Why are gas prices going up? It's simple because everything in New York is going up. And yet they continue just to, 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 to try to justify it. Well, we're charging you more but giving you less. That makes no fucking sense. Just how jobs are trying to look to find ways to cut costs, firing people, look ways to nickel and dime people out their paycheck while they have to go out there and pay more to provide for themselves and to provide for their family. That doesn't make any fucking sense. And it's ruining the middle class at some point in time pretty soon. There is not going to be no a, a thing as a middle class. It's just going to be rich and piss poor. And all of us in New York State are leading into the piss poor category but let me know what you guys think about this article why gas prices all of a sudden surgingly going up in the state of new york did you think that this was a valid explanation leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel smash the like button and i'll catch you guys next time deuces